And Allah, when He speaks about water, He speaks about it as being rizq. Something given to you that is valuable for your longevity and life. Uh, this was my water bottle. Just sit a little bit here. Bismillah. Going to take the last bit of my rizq. Right? Rizqan lakum. Bismillah. See, that's my rizq. Not your rizq. So there were bottles up at the top. And I took this one. I didn't take the one beside it. I didn't pay for it. I didn't, you know, this is given to me. And because this is my rizq, if all the world came together to try to give a drop of it to somebody else, they would fail. Because this is mine. You will, sometimes you'll buy something, you think it's for yourself, somebody else eats it. All the time. You bought something, you thought it will fit you, and then you give it away. You got a gift, but you re you're a re-gifter. MashaAllah. Right? It was never destined for you. But I want you to think a little bit more deeply about this water. Because this water is part of the water cycle, meaning that the water that is here has always been here. It's been either a solid, a liquid, or a gas. And the water that I just ingested 500 million years ago might have been an iceberg. And it might have melted and became salt water. And it might have been evaporated in the heavens and rained down in Africa. And over the years, it's been trickling in underwater aquifers until somewhere it was bottled and put on a truck amongst many others in a shop where someone paid for it and put it out. And I chose this one because this is my rizq. It's mine. There's nothing you could have done to have taken those drops and made yours. And the drops you had is yours, not mine. I could never have taken it from you. And if you think about everything in life in that way, rizqan lakum, rizqan lil ibad. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa rizqukum fis sama, your rizq is in the heavens. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what you will receive, when you will receive it, and how you will receive it. So don't covet the dunya too much. Because nothing in it is owned by you. So Allah begins, Allah. Allahu alladhi khalaq as samawati wal ard. It belongs to Allah. Don't vie to it at a degree where you feel so heartbroken at a loss that you can't recover. Don't be so hopeful for something that if it's taken from you, that you feel let down by Allah. And don't attain something and think, I did it. Because it's rizqan lakum. The degree you did, the job you have, the wealth you earned, the home you built, is not your doing. There's people who you stepped over to get here. There's a mother who fed you to get you the place you will be. There were people who paid your school fees. There were teachers who educated you. There were opportunities that you were given that others were not. And had other people been given the course of life you were, they might have done better than you. And had you been given the opportunities the missed opportunities that other people missed, you may not have attained what you have. Rizqan lakum. It is a rizq from Allah.